Hello, these are the top stories circulating here at Mixmag. This week, we want to know what you boys think about them. We want to know what you guys at home think about it. So get in touch. So the first story I have for you is Paris Hilton making her DJ debut this week in Goa. Now, obviously, there's been quite a backlash from the DJs and dance music lovers about her set and her performance, but the crowd seemed to love it. So, you know, credit where credit's due. Next up, we've got the Grammy nominees list, and that was revealed today. Uh, there's loads of EDM artists up for awards. Um, Avicii, Calvin Harris, Swedish House Mafia, and Skrillex are all up for the best dance record. Who will win? Who knows? Who knows? Craftwork, the unbelievable Craftwork, have announced eight shows here in London at the Tate Modern. That is huge. Yeah. I am very excited about that. Tate Modern is Yeah, 3D Tate visuals. Modern. It's going to be sick. Very yeah. excited. And now there's a new festival uh, this summer in Essex, and it has got huge, huge names. Um, the first phase of the lineup has been revealed. We've got Sven Vath and Ricardo Villalobos headlining the Cocoon stage, DJ Sneak on the Kayakuma stage, Kerry Chandler on the Molotov stage, and that is just to start. There's more names to come, so I would recommend coming to Mixmag uh, online and checking out the full lineup and getting some tickets because they are going very, very quickly. Well, it's called cool. We Are Festival and it is in Essex. Yes. <laughs> yeah, are we there? I yeah. think we know Tilly was from Essex. <laughs> the last story is Obviously, it's the end of the year and everyone's doing their best of polls. And we here at Mixmag have our very own, which is greatest dance track of all time. And you can yeah. go online and vote for yours. I voted for mine. Rip Groove, double 99. Great news. Go through the stories once again. One at yeah. the time, we'll hear what Ollie and uh, Jesse have to say about Yes, we will. Paris Hilton DJ. Let's go. Let's go. Cool. I Let's thought go. that was an old story. I thought she DJ'd ages ago. Didn't that happen ages ago where yeah, she played it with her? No, no, this was so her first, first official. <laughs> I thought it was really funny, man. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, you, you're laughing, you're laughing, but like she was like playing floating points, no, like she... future garage, no like busting out some like, <laughs> old music. It was no jokes. Was no jokes. Right. Right. You might check her out. She started with dancing. Gangnam style. Gangnam style. <laughs> yeah, like, what would be quite cool if someone actually gave her like a wicked backdrop of tunes and actually learned her, taught her how taught her how to mix properly. Learn that. Yeah. Yeah. Learn yeah. Learn yeah. Silence. Learn. Learn. I honestly like. Play I well. just don't think. I just don't think. Like at the end of the day, for all of those DJs that. Sh for the places that she's playing and the DJs that they usually hear, I think people just go to see whoever that is and they don't really care as much about the tunes that are playing. So I don't, you know, if people want to go and Google Paris Hilton, then why not? Definitely. I want her to make it though. I want yeah, her to like literally. Yeah. We did come out with like some amazing like Chicago set and we all went, <laughs> hey, and I made it down there. Like, <laughs> yeah. Paris Hilton's got game. Like, <laughs> the next Whoa. story was the Grammys. Boys? Yeah. Where it's pretty amazing, isn't it? I mean, I just saw that Diplo's up for producer of the year. I mean, pretty much dance music's taking over uh, the Grammys. It's crazy. Well, Skrillex won last year, didn't he? So it's got, yeah. I would say, Calvin Harris. I was going to say Calvin Harris. Yeah. Just it's definitely, in fact, it's definitely going to be Calvin Harris because that's the way it works. No, my money's on the Swedes because they're riding <laughs> high on this last tour ever wave. And I think, I think it'll be them. But, but Calvin Harris is riding high on getting like five number ones in the States. So I don't know, that might that might just beat it. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Let's put some money on it. I like, I like the way you're doing this. Craftwork playing in London. Uh, they're playing eight nights. Each night is one album. They're going to play it in full. 3D visuals. It's going to be insane, basically. Mm. I'm going. I don't know. I'm I'm there. I'm thinking they're pretty boring, man. Like, <laughs> like, I think I think probably best to keep to the records, man. Like, no disrespect, but it's a bit weird. It's like I don't know. It's like when you see someone that's so important and they can never really live up to what you you know. What I mean, they'd have to be spinning on their head or something to like better what they've already done. So 
I think it's a hard task. The next one is about the festival in Essex. We are festival. Yeah. You're an Essex boy, aren't you, Jesse? No, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm associated with one of the most famous Essex. I mean, I guess Essex done good boys switch. He's come over here and, and smashed it. So I Real kind of, fun, right? I feel a little bit, I feel a little bit Essexy in that respect and, and shouts to Harlow. The equivalent of Essex in, uh, in Germany, yeah. are um, I guess I'll turn up Berlin. <laughs> yeah. Okay, boys, your greatest dance track of all time. Sorry to put you on the spot. <laughs> Favourite record is Brazil.com by Isole. If you haven't heard it, you should check it out. It's just, it was one of those records that was like 10 years old or 15 years old or I don't know. I'm old, so old. Um, <laughs> but it, it, it was like, it was being played at the same time by like little Louis Vega as it was by like Derek May. It was like a really special record, so. Sweet. Tilly, thank you very much for the news. That was excellent. Thanks. Nice Cheers, Tilly.